So you want to buy a mixer, right? Let's say you want to change your volumes, maybe you want to change your music volume or add a little reverb or some cool like sound effects or something, right? Well, let's say hypothetically, right? Just, just hypothetically that I could save you a ridiculous amount of money and on top of that, it'll free up some desk space. Thank me later. All right, what's up guys? My name is Jacques Orja Q, and today I'm gonna be showing you something not only that I've been using for a few years, I know Shroud uses it, and I'm not an audio guy, but from what I've heard, this is like an audio guy's dream program. And now you might be asking Jacques, what is this uh, virtual gold, per se, or, or what, what is this software that I'm talking about that's supposed to be so amazing? Well, you've probably already heard of it. Uh, it's called Voice Meter. It can also be known as Voice Meter Banana or Voice Meter Potato. And the only difference is really being the complexity of how the software goes from voice meter to voice meter banana to voice meter potato 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 but essentially it's all the same program so at the beginning of this video right i told you i could probably save you a good chunk of change well where is the connection between the saving of money and voice meter well let me explain so when i was doing research for this video the cheapest audio mixer i could find on amazon that was good price and also had good reviews was about 60 dollars now the problem with that is although that mixer can like take an xlr like this mic is and then turn that into a usb which your computer can read it, it can't do anything else basically <laughs> um so the problem with the physical mixer right is that you have to have physical inputs to go into it so if i'm like on my computer and i'm playing uh, discord i have a game playing and i have spotify going right the only way that i can get those onto the mixer to change the volume of those things with all the little knobs and all that would be to hardline it out of my computer and into the mixer and then back from that mixer into my computer and that is a ridiculous way to do things for one it's a lot of hardware and two why why would you do that when when you have voice meter banana that i'm about to explain how to use so easily right so i just explained the complicated version 60 dollars hardware and basically very annoying issues right now when you compare that to voice meter banana it is strictly on your computer right so if you have the discord or the spotify or any of the other things that i was talking about that are audio so all of it is going on on your computer which you can send directly to obs or streamlabs obs or whatever recording streaming software you use and on top of that it's technically free and by technically Technically, I mean it's donationware and basically what donationware is, is you're allowed to use the program as much as you want however you want to use it and you don't have to pay unless you want to so basically let's say you're just starting out streaming or recording or content creation whatever you're doing you can use voice meter potato banana whichever one you want to do and you don't have to pay anything there is zero cost to use but let's say you're using it a lot you're really loving it and let's say that you want to go ahead and help the developer well then you can go ahead go onto their website and donate some money but it's not required, it's only if you want to. It's kind of like the Discord Nitro sort of, you don't have to do it, but you're allowed to do it. Now there is one perk that I'm aware of that you get when you do donate, and essentially whenever you're using the program, after you've used it for 30 days, uh, it'll start to pop up with a notification whenever the program, whenever the program first opens. And all that notification is asking you to donate. If you don't want to donate, just close out of it and you can use the program like you were going to do. Then if you want to get rid of that, all you have to do is pay like the minimum of $10 and it's gone. Or let's say that you're really loving it, you can donate even more money to them and it's whatever you want to do. But essentially, you don't have to pay. So let's kind of compare what we've gone over here, right? We have an option that is $60 at minimum and a physical mixer that can't mess with all of your extra music or Discord or whatever you have without having even more hardware than that. Or let's say you have a free option or at the very most, ten dollars right and you have zero extra hardware you have a lot more free desk space and it's just smoother to use honestly just it's easier it's honestly just easier once you have it set up voice meter you don't have to mess with it at all and to me the difference between these two options it's it's just obvious i would much rather use voice meter in this situation but i don't feel that this is going to be a really like fair and comprehensive video unless i mention the go xlr and the go xlr mini now the Go XLR and the Go XLR Mini is that same like physical mixer that I was talking about a minute ago, but a lot more things going on. Now, like I said, these are physical mixers. So if you like to sit here, touch the dials, play with the buttons and have something physical here to touch and directly affect what you're doing on your computer, then this is gonna be what you want. And on top of that, both the Go XLR and the Go XLR Mini come with the Go XLR software. And in my opinion, that software is a lot more user-friendly than voice meter. It 
Sad to say, but it's true. I do love voice meter a lot, but I have to be honest. The GoXLR software is definitely a lot less overwhelming whenever you first open it and look at it. Uh, a lot of the features that are built into it are also a lot more easy to use. So it's got built in echo features or reverb, whatever you're wanting to do. But with voice feeder banana, you're gonna need to add in plugins so you can have all those extra effects. Now that is the leg up that GoXLR has over voice meter banana, but what voice meter banana has over GoXLR uh, is a large price tag. A very, very large price tag. Like, like it's actually kind of like ridiculous price tag. Now I do think that the Go XLR and the Go XLR Mini are being price gouged right now, but as of as of November 10th, 2020 at 1016 PM CST, <laughs> Uh, the Go XLR at the very cheapest that I could find was $636. And the Go XLR Mini was a little bit better at $400. All I want to say is price gougers have a special place in hell. All right, guys, so one small update. It is now November 20th, 10 days after I recorded this video. And while I was editing, I wanted to make sure that the prices I was giving you guys were correct. Uh, now, I went back and I looked and I did find a cheaper price for the Go XLR and the Go XLR Mini. I believe these are the original prices, like the non-price gouge prices. Uh, it doesn't really affect the outcome of my decision in this video. The updated price for the Go XLR is $500 now instead of that $640, whatever it was. And the Go XLR Mini I found on a lot of other websites, but not Amazon was $250 and not $400. All right, now we have talked about all the facts. I've gone over everything that I feel like gives a good comprehensive overview of all these different mixers, whether it be virtual or physical. My final opinion is voice meter banana at least at this point in time why would i as an individual unless i have the money and i just want to blow it and i want to have something cool to play with that's perfectly fine but let's say that i am trying to sit here i'm trying to start content creation start streaming why the hell would i go and spend 400 dollars at minimum to get a good audio mixer it just doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't make financial sense. Now, one caveat to that, if you do have an XLR microphone, you are going to have to have some type of physical mixer, whether that be that Go XLR Mini, the $400 one, or that other mixer, that other small physical mixer for $60, I think I would still choose the $60 physical mixer. But that is strictly for an XLR microphone. If you have a USB one, you're perfectly fine. USB straight in, go to voice meter, you're all good. All right, this is Jacques back from the future. Now that $250, the updated price on that Go XLR Mini, I think makes it a lot more of a viable option. I still think that voice meter is the better software to use, especially if you're still starting out. But if you do have some extra money and you're wanting to upgrade your setup and have something nice, $250 is not that bad of a price for that audio mixer that also comes with all the physical dials you can change. And on top of that, the Go XLR software which I think is probably the best part of GoXLR itself. But if you're just starting out, I suggest still using voice meter as long as you need to because it's free and it's very good software that I still use personally. Then once you've saved up enough money and want to buy yourself something nice, get the GoXLR Mini and have some fun. And voice meter banana not only having a built-in noise gate, all those special effects that I told you earlier, even though they're plugins, and on top of that, even an EQ and uh, even a ridiculous amount of other effects that I can't just sit here and list off, it, it's just not even comparable. In my opinion, if you're trying to make a financial decision here, it's not even like close. It's definitely voice meter all the way. Now, like I said, if you've got the money and you want to blow it on a Go XLR, Go XLR Mini, go ahead. That's your money, and I can't tell you what to do with it. But in my opinion. It's voice meter. Now, I hope I've done a good job laying out the facts for you guys so you can make an informed decision about what you want to have for your content creation setup. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I cover a lot of content on this channel that's focused on helping you guys make content the way that you want to make it. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see a voice meter plugin or tutorial video, I can make one in the future. And until next time, peace. Oh my God, that hurt. That hurt. Holy shit.